May 1, 2012 God's Hands, Our Hands With his probing right hand, Thomas searched your life-giving side, O Christ our God. From the Kontakion for Thomas Sunday The image of the use of hands to develop a faith relationship with the Lord provides more than a little food for thought. In one of the Paschal evening hymns, Thomas's using his hand to search out the Lord is balanced by an earlier image of Jesus offering his hand to Peter when Peter was sinking in the water. Our faith relies on our interaction with God just as in a hand clasp. In the ceremony of the enthronement of Metropolitan William, the pastoral staff was placed into his hand and trusting into his hands the Archeparchy of Pittsburgh as well as the American Byzantine Catholic Metropolitan Church Sui Juris. He was commissioned to pastor the people sharing with them the loving care of God and leading them in responding to that love. As I was meditating on this in my chapel, I was struck by the hands of the saints in the icons. The martyrs hold the cross or a branch, the bishops a staff, the teachers a book, the deacon a censer. In the Annunciation, the mother of God's hand is raised in surprise and acceptance. On the Iconostas, her hand points to Jesus. Each of us is asked to use our hands, that is, our lives, for different purposes within the Church. As important as it is to consider our hands, we must also be aware of the hand of God. In his homily, Metropolitan William expressed the pressing need to present Jesus Christ and his gospel teachings in a way that touches our people. His use of the word touch brought me back to this meditation. In another Vesper hymn, we sing, When Thomas had been touched by the Lord, he cried out in a loud voice, You are my Lord and my God. Glory to you. We take courage in the words of Psalms 137 and 138. You stretch out your hand, with your right hand you save me. Discard not the work of your hands. And if I take the wings of the dawn or dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. We join Metropolitan William in placing ourselves in the hands of God and in committing to use our hands as we are called to continue the work of salvation. To our Most Reverend Metropolitan William and to all those entrusted to his pastoral care, God grant many years. Christ is risen. <laughs>